The following is classified level row. Unauthorized access is punishable under the GTVA Security Act, Deneb Convention, Section 2135. We vanquished the Shivans in the Great War, but the hard questions remain. How would we confront the threat of future invasion? The Shivans might return at any time, any place, without warning. How would we fight the next threat to the very existence of our species? In 2345, on the 10th anniversary of the Shivan attack on Ross 128, the Vasudan Emperor Khonsu II addressed the newly formed GTVA General Assembly. The Emperor inaugurated an ambitious and unprecedented joint endeavor, the GTVA Colossus. Together we built a civilization in the ruins of the Great War. And now we stand on the threshold of a new era of prosperity and harmony. In Project Colossus, the Vasudan people celebrate a renewed covenant of peaceful coexistence and mutual defense of our territories. The Colossus is the most powerful space-faring warship ever constructed. Spanning six kilometers from bow to stern, the Colossus has taken over 20 years to complete. Twelve Lucifer-class destroyers can fit within its massive hull. Its state-of-the-art weaponry includes 45 laser turrets, 15 flak guns, 12 missile batteries, and 12 beam cannons. The Colossus wields more firepower than five Orion-class destroyers combined. Sixty fighter and bomber wings are housed in its vast hangar, and its crew numbers over 30,000. Among its major contractors are industry giants Triton Dynamics, Subak Innis, and the Akaton Corporation. The Alliance now wages war on multiple fronts. In Deneb, Alpha Centauri, Epsilon Pegasi, and the mysterious nebula beyond Gamma Draconis. Once deployed, the Colossus will end these conflicts swiftly and decisively. If ever the Shivans return to threaten our worlds, we will be ready to face the challenge, securing peace for today and for generations to come. The 242nd will escort a supply convoy as it makes its rendezvous with the GTVA Colossus. As we prepare the Colossus for the Allied counterattack, we must handle the logistics of supplying and maintaining this warship. Convoys of transports, gas miners, and freighters have been deployed for this purpose. The Colossus will jump in and rendezvous with your convoy at the Capella Jump Node, located on the far side of an asteroid field. The area has been the site of intense fighting and rebel activity. Intelligence believes the Rebels might attempt to attack our supply convoys rather than challenge the Colossus directly. You will be leading Alpha Wing, the main escort component. Your mission is to defend the GTFR Paracom, the GTG Avila, and the GVG Juyan. The Avila and Juyan are mining vessels designed to collect fuel from gas giants for the reactors that power the Colossus. The Vasudans have dispatched a wing of Serapis fighters to guard the Ju Yun. You do not have command over this unit. However, the 242nd Suicide Kings are responsible for the Ju Yun's safety. Eighteen months of civil war are beginning to strain Terran Basudan relations, especially in contested systems. See to it that Ju Yun survives. field now, Command. We're approximately 23 kilometers from the Capella Jump Node. I'm picking up hostile indicators on my radar. I can't get a lock. Might be nothing but asteroid interference. That's wishful thinking, pilot. Proceed with caution and stay close to the convoy. Command, a rebel sentry gun has activated 1,000 meters from the convoy. We destroy it, but be careful, Alpha. 
The NTF seem to have an ambush in the works. Keep an eye out for hostile fighters. The rebels have sortied their Medusa bombers. Intercept them before they fire their missiles. We must protect that convoy. Yes, sir. We'll take them down. Sequence aborted. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. Yes, sir. We'll take them down. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. the Capella Jump Node and we must not leave our position. We will sortie a wing of Perseus fighters to assist. Good luck, pilots! The NTC Maelstrom has entered the asteroid field. When it gets in range, the cruiser will fire its forward beam cannon at the convoy. Alpha-1, you are ordered to neutralize that turret. All units in the vicinity of the Capella Jump Node, Mayday! Our convoy is under attack! Repeat! Our convoy is under attack! Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Bandit on your tail. Yes, sir. Breaking to attack. Affirmative.
This is the GTVA Colossus. We have reached the rendezvous point. Now deploying transports. Theta Wing, stand watch. Alpha, the situation is now under control. You may return to base. Thank you for your escort, Alpha Wing. Roger that, sir. See you back home. Excellent job, pilot. The convoy made its rendezvous with the Colossus without losing a single ship. As the other freighters and gas miners transfer their payload to the Colossus, the Alliance is making final preparations for our attack against Admiral Cobb and the NTD Repulse. A demonstration of our ultimate weapon should force the rebel leadership to reconsider their territorial ambitions. GTBA units throughout the system report a successful coordinated strike against NTF targets. Command is confident the long stalemate in Epsilon Pegasi will soon come to a favorable resolution. By clearing out the rebel sentry guns in the asteroid field, you have significantly reduced the danger posed to future convoys on this route. Your initiative may save many lives.